So the last step for your instruction design is the restrict access. So again, similarly, you can do this topic by topic or week by week. So you have to make sure all the contents and the materials are complete for each of the week. Okay. So if you remember just now in the forum, if you go, one of the settings is restrict access. Okay. In fact, that all the activities, including assignment, quiz, there's a setting you can do in the restrict access. So that means that the access to this forum, assignment or quiz will be restricted. Okay. So there are few conditions the student have to fulfill before they can access the materials. For example, they need to download, complete the resource, let's say download the lecture note, only then, then they can start to post some question in the forum. And they need to post at least one topic discussion or reply one post in the forum before they can submit their assignment. So these are the restrict access. So the activities and also for all the resources, including URL, course synopsis, folder, and file. So regardless whether this is a, a resource, different type of research or different type of activities, the setting is still the same. So if you click the restrict access, so you will see this, access restrictions. Default setting is none. So what you need to do is just click add restrictions and they give you the options. So the restriction can based on the date. Maybe you prevent the access until the certain date. The grade, so maybe the student need to achieve a certain grade for their quiz or assignment if, before they can access the materials. The user profile, you want to limit uh, the certain student uh, or prevent few students or the certain particular student to access the material. And the restriction set is a complete uh, logic. So this is quite uh, complex. We're not going to discuss it in detail. So we're going to show you the simplest one, which is the activity completion. So require student to complete or not to complete another activity before they can access this uh, resource or activity. So when you click on the activity completion, so this is how it look like. So they will allow you to set what activity to be completed. Okay, so you see this window. And here you can choose must or must not match the following condition. One, choose activity completion. You can choose the activities or resource. So they will list out all the activity and resource in your course. So you just pick out which one you want to choose. And then the conditions can be must mark as complete. Okay. Or must not mark be marked as complete. Okay. Or be complete with past grade and so on and so forth. So that's the reason why for each of the item, each of the resource and activity, you need to uh, set the condition what is considered complete. Okay. So after you choose one, then you can add another one. Okay. This is the first restriction. So you just choose which one you want to to restrict. Okay. The condition. So that let's say this is a lecture not and this is not complete. You can add another restrictions. So you can have. Uh, Two conditions, so they must complete the lecture note to be must be marked as complete. And in the lecture note setting, completion set setting, we said that the student must download the or, or view the lecture note. And they have to uh, the assignment one for the student need to be marked as complete. So the student must submit and view the assignment. Okay. And the quiz mark need to be at least uh, 80%. Okay, so this item, regardless this is a forum or assignment, okay, setting for the access, the student will only be able to access this after they have fulfilled all this. So I'm going to show you in Smart UMS how it looks like quickly. So now, for example, in this week, I already put a narration. So usually it's quite clear. The student will go through one by one, but some student might jump. Uh, directly to the quiz without uh, reading the lecture note or reading the articles. So in this case, I want to restrict the access for the quiz. So what I need to do, I just go to the quiz, edit settings.
Okay. Go down, you have the restrict access, add restrictions, activity completions. So the student must match the following. So they must complete the lecture note. So they must view the lecture note. And another activity completion, they must read the article, download the article. Okay, they must click on the folder with the, all the articles. And then you can click save and return to the course. So now you can see that actually now this quiz is hidden. So when students click on this, they will not be able to access this. Okay, And they also give the hints to students that there are certain things that have not they have not complete yet. So they should not come to the quiz. So this is how you can make use of the restrict access to help the student to navigate themselves and through these uh, learning materials.